When it comes to best-selling authors, the names don't get any bigger than James Patterson. The writer has sold more than 350 million books worldwide and actually holds the Guinness World Record for the most number one New York Times bestsellers. Patterson's latest project is not a book, but rather a documentary he wrote and hosted. It's called Murder of a Small Town. The topic is communities that have been left behind by the 21st century, a subject close to his heart. Take a look. I'm James Patterson. I write murder stories. But the difference here is this is real. What's going to happen with these people? Who's going to help them out? The best I can do is tell their story. This is Palm Beach County. And these are some of the poorest, most violent towns anywhere. If I could, I would leave. There's no jobs. I always say that we're 30 years behind from everything else. You have to wonder, how can this kind of thing happen in the wealthiest country in the world? They think we don't know much, uneducated, worthless. They're wrong. And James Patterson is with us. James, good morning. Hi. Um, I, I, we've talked before. How can before. this thing happen in the wealthiest country in the it, world? Exactly. And what I'm interested in is what drew you to this. I, I know you spent a lot of time trying to get books into schools, and, and that sort of is what kicked this off for you. Is that right? Yes. Uh, I gave away a lot of books out in, in, well, in Palm Beach County and also up in my hometown in Newburgh. And I, there was a caricature about the people in, in these towns, Pahokee and Belle Glade and Newburgh, that it's, they're tough towns you shouldn't go to visit, 40-some percent unemployment. Belle Glade is, was ranked the, the most violent small town in America. Newburgh was right up there. And, and, and I just wanted to, to stop the caricature and, and, and remind people and get people to understand that, yeah. that there's real people there yeah. and, they're, and they're dealing with a very, very, very tough thing. So you go to a lot of communities, a food bank, a hospital, a high school locker room, but there's yeah. one conversation in particular that really stands out in this documentary, and that was the Corey Graham one, convicted at 19 yeah. for murder. What was that conversation like for you to watch that happen between him and his father? Who shot? I had him. Huh? I had him. Why do you do this, Corey? Well, I, you know, people will tear up when they watch this film, and one of the reasons is the tragedy that happens. Uh, a, a father was killed in a grocery store, owner of the grocery store, and then Corey Graham, who had no criminal record, 19 years old, Shoots the owner. Corey gets life plus 30 years, so he'll never get out. No record before that. He had never been interviewed. I sent a letter to, to Corey up in the prison, and then I got this letter back. How you doing, Mr. Patterson? I wouldn't mind talking to you. Yeah. So, so, so we went up to the prison and talked to Corey. There are so many towns in America like this. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I know you did a lot of research on this. How, how big is this problem? Well, I mean, right now, you know, in this country, we have 45 million people living below the poverty line and 15 million children. So it's a rather sizable problem. Yeah. Uh, and we don't hear much about it. I mean, you, you really not much in the political scene, not much from your other political candidate about yeah. these towns and, um, and, and what we can do to help. You also get a good sense of the proximity to where you live in Palm Beach, mm -hmm. completely different from these two oh, Florida yeah. impoverished cities. Yeah, well, Why'd obviously people hear two? Palm Beach and they think money as they should, but in Palm Beach County, and this is 40 miles away from, from, from Palm Beach, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's poverty uh, and, and violence and, and great football. Uh, Pahokee High School has, they've had 30-some players in the NFL, which is unbelievable. Wow. So there's, the, there's the, one of the bright light things about that. But did you want that juxtaposition of here's a community that's so wealthy and just 40 miles away, here's what's happening? It's not that I wanted it. There it was. Right. I mean, no, but that's, 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 this is what's going on in this country. Once again, you've got the richest country in the world unable to take care of basics. I mean, we were down in Cuba a couple of months ago, and there's a lot of poverty there, too. People don't make a lot of money, but everybody gets fed, everybody gets health care, everybody gets educated. I think in this country we should at least be able to take care of the basics. So, we, so we're doing a bad job in, 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 in that area, really bad. Jim, what made you want to get involved in this from a filmmaking standpoint, and, and to get yourself involved as the, as the I, narrative? Honestly, I wanted, I, I tell stories, and I wanted to tell a story, and I wanted, I wanted the story to affect people, and it does. And people that watch this film, they're gonna, they're, they'll be affected. They'll, 
Everybody who watches this film goes, how can I help? Uh, the, the trick is, I mean, we have to have people in Washington watching the film, and yeah. people in the state capitals, and people in the state capital of, of Florida and New York State going, okay, well, we have to do something. How do you find all the time? <laughs> I mean, just like, I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't <laughs> and how was it for Alternate you to host? Because this, this was your first hosting experience, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, this is the first time I went on camera like this. It was fine. What, was, what made uh, you want to do it? I mean, I know you've done your own commercials in the past for your books, but what made you want to host this? Um, I think the reason that I, I went on as a spokesperson is we needed something to make the, the film coherent. Yeah. So I was the glue that kind of held it together. You weren't available, so. I, <laughs> I mean, I usually am, just in case. Well, you I, you know, okay, well, I, you know. <laughs> James, thank you so much. And of course, you can watch Murder of a Small Town starting Friday on video on demand, including both iTunes and Amazon.